Coming up now, the very latest news from Pattaya and Thailand via the fabulous Pattaya Media Group. Please like and subscribe. It helps us and it helps you too. Thai media is reporting that the Swiss man, accused of kicking a Thai woman who sat on a step adjacent to his Phuket beachside villa, has been acquitted by a local court this week. He'd been accused of kicking the 26-year-old who sat on a step adjacent but not on the property that he rented there. At the time, the event caused a media sensation for sure as he'd offered an apology, but the woman, adopted by profession, refused to accept it demanding instead a court case that was preceded by several investigations into his business and past life. The number of people losing their lives after drinking an illegal moonshine drink in the capital has risen to eight this week, as dozens remain hospitalised after drinking the cheap liquor. Made from wood alcohol and sold by several curbside vendors a few weeks ago, of those still in hospital care, many are on dialysis machines and the prognosis for them is not good. Vendors and those who manufactured the drink are known to police. No word on charges. On Koh Phangan, a so-called beauty clinic, said to have been run by a British expat, has been raided by authorities after a tourist claimed to have been injured during a procedure illegally carried out there. With a blanket and clear law in Thailand that only Thais can practice medicine and a qualified foreign doctor could qualify but would have to retake medical exams here in Thai language, the foreigner for sure lacked any form of training. He's admitted selling and injecting Botox, along with other illegal substances, after simply ordering them online. The Association of Thai Bankers has blocked 34,000 bank accounts here, deemed to have been run by call centre gangs. The bank has identified users and accounts, offering an option to the account holders to reopen if they can prove that they're not a so-called mule or involved in scamming. But with many account holders showing 12 to 15,000 baht a month incomes, it would be hard to explain massive cash flows for sure. Maysonk locals were stunned this week at the news that a 24-year-old Burmese man working there had caused the death of his 13-year-old girlfriend along with her father after she broke up with him via social media. Now in police custody, taken to the scene of the crime and admitting his guilt, police had to deal with an angry crowd of fellow nationals at the shantytown who all knew the girl and her father. And police in the South are checking on the legal status of a Burmese lady who worked in a visa shop and locked her client in the shop where she works after a dispute over a refund that he requested. The Italian customer ended up calling police to help him get out. The woman demanded that he delete video clips of their dispute, which he refused to do, and the cops had to force her to open the door. No word on the refund, but it appears she faces charges of unlawful detention, at the very least. Meanwhile at home and in Patia, clean-up teams were out and about after one of the heaviest storms in recent memory flushed out the city and the region. With photographs from numerous sources showing the extent of the flooding and the depth of over a metre in places, one or two locations aside, it has to be said that once the storms ended, the water did clear quickly however leaving behind a trail of mud, mess and garbage. With more expected, City Hall has also ordered checks on all drains to ensure that none are covered up. And fans of Soy LK Metro are reporting that despite the glitz and glamour of the city's second walking street, one thing is missing and that's grub. Food lenders, it appears, have been moved on by officials after complaints from businesses that they blocked access to their chrome-polled venues. For decades, the vendors have simply plied their trade happily, but for now, those looking for more than a smiley greeting and a cold drink will have to look elsewhere for the famous street food. And with more storms heading out this way, according to the Met Office, they're predicting highs of 33 degrees, lows of 28 tonight, and the real feel in the sun of 36. Local and national news today... From Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel. 
fabulous patio media group by using the link below